we now know the new Doctor Who showrunner, and um, I don't think anyone saw this one coming. Hi, I'm Phil, welcome to my channel where I like to talk about all the geeky pop culture that I like, consume and enjoy. A lot of that is Doctor Who, so if you like that sort of stuff, then do hit subscribe down below. We're here to talk about the new Doctor Who showrunner, who is... I mean, it's, it's in the title and the thumbnail, so you already know, but we'll do a drum roll anyway. Russell T. Davis? What? I, I don't think anybody saw this coming. I did not see a single list, a single prediction that was like, hey, you know what might happen? Russell T. Davis might come back. Did not see that happening at all, but it's just been announced and I'm in kind of shock. I don't know what to think about it. I have mixed feelings. Um, I obviously love Russell T. Davis. I love all of his work. Um, everything I've seen of his I've loved from Doctor Who to things like uh, obviously Years and Years and It's a Sin, brilliant programs. He is a great uh, writer of human drama and uh, he writes brilliant stuff. And obviously, I loved his time on Doctor Who. It was the most coherent time on Doctor Who in terms of getting the series out regularly, uh, of in terms of expanding it out with spin-offs, um, and lots of new stuff. And he's back for the 60th year. For 2023, he's taking back over. And it seems to, the article, the press release that the BBC announced, seemed to imply that there would be content, there would be uh, something that year, because it said that he will be... Uh, the showrunner for that year, for the anniversary year, and for series after that. So he is officially, it's not just like he's coming in to do a one-off special. He's the new showrunner. When I first saw the headline, I did wonder, okay, maybe they've just got him in to do the 60th anniversary special, but it looks like he's already sticking around. He's sticking around. Whew. What are your thoughts about this? I want to hear it all in the comments below. What was your initial reaction when you heard that? Was it disbelief? Did you think someone was pranking you? What, what was going through your head when you saw that headline? I want to know in the comments below. Um, in terms of what I think about it, I think it could work out really well. I, I'm i like... I don't know what it says about the... the I, I'm so mixed on how I feel about it. Because on the one hand... It's Russell T. Davis, man. It's going to be good. Whatever he produces, it's going to be good content. So that's ultimately what matters. Uh, I never thought he would want to come back. Um, I'm sure the BBC would have happily had him stay on longer initially if he hadn't wanted to leave after four years. But uh, if he's coming back, I'm hoping he's coming back with a strong vision of what he wants to do. Um, I hope that we get something like we did when the show when his initial era ran, we got a series every year, at the same time every year. We got spin-offs. We got this ex whole expanded universe feel to the Doctor Who universe. And I'm kind of hoping that that returns with him. I'm kind of hoping that he can get out a series regularly once a year. That he can maybe branch off into some spin-offs. Maybe, maybe we will see Torchwood back. I don't know how that'll work with the whole John Barrowman situation of it at the moment. But yeah, maybe, maybe. We'll never know. We might get a brand new spin-off. Who knows? Um, I think there's lots of possibilities. Exciting possibilities with Russell T. Davis coming back. And for one thing I, I, I'm quite excited about is the fact that all of the people that like... You know, the hate mongers out there that are clearly just doing it for the clicks because it gets them revenue. You know, they like to lambast about how, ah, oh, you know, the Russell T. Davis was the golden era and Chibnall's ruined who. Well, what are they going to do now? What are they going to do now? Because if they say, I mean, it, they probably won't care, but they'll say that it, oh, if they want to criticise his, and say he's a terrible showrunner, they're on camera saying he's a great showrunner before, what are you going to do? <laughs> so I'm excited about that. I do wonder what it means in terms of um, the show, the BBC's confidence in the show slightly, because I'm, I'm, do they not feel that a new showrunner could, uh, could invigorate it in the same way that Russell could? I'm sure Russell will do a fantastic job and I'm really looking forward to it, but I do Th those kind of one things are bouncing around in my head a little bit. Um, 
yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens. And what do you want? It, what do you want him to do? I mean, he's not going to want to come in and just do the same thing again, exactly the same. He's going to want to innovate because every one of his seasons innovated a little bit more. You know, from one to four and the specials that he did, he was always innovating. So what new innovations is he going to have? All of this stuff is racing around in my head. I'm very excited. I'm trying to remember what else was in the article. I don't think we got much information. Um, Because I'm using my phone to record, so I don't have it in front of me. And I didn't bring out my laptop or anything in the rush to get this video out. Uh, but yeah, basically, I think there's a lot of potential. Oh, it's being made in conjunction with Bad Wolf Productions, which is an independent production company. So it's not completely in-house within BBC Studios anymore, which is interesting. Uh, it sounds like it might be a co-production between BBC Studios and Bad Wolf Productions. Obviously, you probably recognise the name Bad Wolf from the story arc from Series 1. That's because... Uh, the production company is made by a group of people that worked on Series 1. I can't remember the exact group of people, but they, they worked on Series 1 and they went on to form their own independent production company. So uh, they are uh, they are involved in it. I think they've been involved in some of other Russell's work over the years as well. So, um, so it's not a completely in-house production anymore. I don't know how that'll change things like the marketing... Things like, uh, you know, uh, brand, where it gets... Aired. I mean, it will still be aired on BBC One. I'm positive about that. But things like deals with Netflix, I don't know if that'll affect that. Who knows? Uh, but that's interesting. It might mean that it is moving outside of Wales. Um, there was a thing going around on Twitter yesterday and today about somebody claiming that they used to work on the show and had done for 12 years and that there was they were saying that it was changing and moving out of Wales and moving to a different production company and, and not being in Wales anymore. This, this might lend credence to that possibly. It might not be based in Wales anymore. Um, yeah, I mean, it's exciting. It is definitely exciting. And, um, I'm looking forward to seeing where they go with it, where Russell takes it next. Oh man, I can't sorry, believe. I couldn't hear what you said. I wasn't talking to you, sir. My watch is talking to me. Sorry. I wasn't talking to you. Shh, shh. I'm recording a video. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm just uh, flabbergasted that this is happening, and uh, loads of things are racing through my brain. But let me know what you think in the comments below. What do you think of this news? How excited are you? Are you excited? I look. Let me know. I, no hate. If you are disappointed in this news and you didn't want Russell T Davis, um. To be, the only reason I'm, I'm mildly disappointed is that I had a whole video written and scripted about predicting who the next showrunner might be. And now I have to screw that up and not use it because we now know it's my own fault for not getting off my ass and recording it quicker. But there we go. Uh, yeah, let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. I, wow, I can't wait to see where this goes. Um, thanks for watching. I will see you soon. Goodbye.